I'm by far the worst golfer in the four play crew. I just want to be a better golfer. I know the goal is to break 100, but you know, I want to send him out of here with more than just uh, one little thing to break 100. So we're going to try to carry this on and we'll see how good he can get. What? <laughs> Again. Woo! I'm just sweating my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what have I been doing? Oh, whoa. I'm gonna be so good at golf fighting out of this, it's crazy. Hey, you reached John Hillary. Sorry, I missed your call. Hot start. <laughs> Take two. He called me back. I missed it. So we're playing phone tag right now. But I'm going to call him back right now. Yeah. Coach, the idea of this is I just want to break 100. That is my goal. I'm a pretty shitty golfer right now. And, you know, you are obviously a world-renowned golf swing coach. And I figured you could help guide me to breaking 100. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It'll be fun, you know? Yeah, I think the best thing to do would be I come to you one of the weekends in yeah April or May probably May and we come down I bring a camera guy with me and we just sort of yeah. document the whole thing whether you know obviously do the meeting you go through the swing and then if yeah if you've got things around you that you want to do I think that'd be great for the video too we will kick it off we'll, we'll give us a day or two to get working and then have some fun and then we'll put together a real tight plan they can all make fun of us and then you can just uh, stick right to it and we'll just keep getting better I love it, man. All right, we'll go back and forth about dates, but uh, I think we leave it at that, and then we go from there. Perfect. I can just tell that he's into it and that I'm into it, and at the end of this, I'm not going to be the worst golfer in foreplay anymore. That's a fact. I'm coming for I'm coming for Frankie. I guess that's my next guy that I got to take down. We'll see what happens. We made it, we're in the South. We're in Atlanta for the Breaking 100 series. The thing I'm most excited about is going to Waffle House. No doubt. This is so exciting. I don't understand, why can't these be everywhere? Just put Waffle Houses everywhere. I understand they're a Southern yeah. thing, but just like, this is the perfect waffle. This is gonna be the best thing I eat all year. Why can't I have it all over the country? Look at that, look at that. That is spectacular. This is a beautiful place. This is a beautiful part of the country. We're just in Georgia by a lake. There's boats everywhere. The sunlight is, is a better sunlight than New York City. I even laid out by the pool for a little bit. Jake saw me. I don't know what, where that puts our relationship, but I think it advances it a little bit. How's it going? Good. Uh, here for a lesson? There you are. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Oh, somebody's on my ass now. First time we're here, this dude, just, just go around me. This dude is up my ass. Dude, this is awesome. This is awesome. It's a little secluded, so when I'm embarrassing myself in front of one of the greatest swing coaches in the world, nobody's gonna see it, except people on YouTube. Hey! Hey! What's up? Let's go! How are you? What's up, brother? How are you? Good, you? I'm great. I'm excited to be here. I didn't want to interrupt no, any no, no. sort of lesson here. What's up, man? Around. How we doing? That is exactly right. Well, this is what a property you've got here. It's a good spot, man. Dude. Yeah, it's a good spot. I'm director of instruction here in Cuscawilla, and then you know, coach to a few guys on tour and semi-professional vacuumer. <laughs> this is what I do at the end of every day. So, how many rounds do you think you've played? Like straight up and not broke a hundred. A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. We gotta have good so we gotta have good sample size. A good sample size of me not breaking a hundred. Did you know anything about Trent or his golf game? No. I actually made a point to not look at we talked earlier and it's like I just wanted to come in fresh, so 
I know there's plenty of stuff out there probably, so I made a point to not uh, look at his golf swing or have any, just to come in blind and <laughs> I'm glad I did. <laughs> I mean, if you don't break 100 in two months, I'm could never teach again, I'm gonna quit. So that's your timeline. You're putting a hard out, if I don't break 100 in two months, then you're quitting as my coach? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at quit teaching, period. Oh, you're talking about in general. <laughs> I'm just gonna quit. Oh, wow. JT, we went through a couple options or we thought about a few options for swing coaches. Didn't really come up with any names that we liked that much. And then we thought, well, Kevin Kisner, we know JT, we know that whole crew, those are great guys. We wanted somebody that we would all get along with, that we thought was funny, that would be very personable, that we would have a good time with. And JT was perfect and he was, you know, luckily enough for us, he agreed to come do it. I like it. I think, I think we're going to work well together. I think yeah. this is going to go great. You need blast. Hell yeah. All right, so 10.30 tomorrow? Does that yep. sound good? Yeah, I'll text you if uh, I think that's right. Yeah, just let me know. I'll text we're, you if anything's different. We're flexible, so. Yeah, we'll make a day of it. What's up? How's it going? It's going well. This feels like the first step of many steps to break 100 and then go even further than that, but it's gonna be a full day. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. There we go. Like that was just supposed to be like a smooth shot of me grabbing the clubs out of the back and instead I got stuck. There we go. That's the goal. That's what we're working towards. Two things could happen. The first one, we could just do band-aids. We could do little things that were going to make me break 100 like course management and as JT calls it, low hanging fruit. Just to clear those things up and then I'd be able to break 100 no problem. Or the other option where you tear the whole thing down, go through the whole swing and actually fix what's wrong with my game. And I want to do the second one, and luckily, so does JT. These balls were hand-picked and blessed for Trent's journey to break 100. Godspeed. <laughs> what? My card boy. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, I'm, well, I'm gonna save that. I'm saving this. I might put that like in my bedroom and hit it every single day, like Notre Dame. How do you want to start? We'll freaking warm this Cadillac up, dog. Okay, all right. How, what? What's like a, them out of here. I mean, you don't have like, unless you got a, I got a gym in here. I'm sure you probably have a full workout routine. Like yeah, no, sorry. I didn't do it this morning at the, at the hotel. So right. yeah, <laughs> I laid in bed until the last possible second so you're primed up. and then I came here. Yeah. I can't wait to get you out the course. We got, we're going to have some low hanging fruit. This is a, this can't be a 108 shooter, but that, but then things just go wrong. <laughs> things go wrong all over the place. So you just, you clip all these little things in this computer and you got them all? Yeah, cool. I, got, I got you here forever. Honestly, not not a terrible dress alignment, seriously. Posture's pretty decent. You get a little squatty, right? A little humpy. Yep. So we can set up a little in front of and ball back. So we're, we're gonna jump the easy stuff first, right? Dress alignments and grip, ball position. They're actually, in all seriousness, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Okay. Well, honestly, I think it's better than I thought it was gonna be. Moves around like a decent athlete. It's like he's falling down. Like I was kind of shocked. Like hands on club and arm wrist stuff. Like uh, club faces. Just nothing crazy going on. Just a full, just a full bully. Just the full, uh, the full upper body bully guy, which is, you know, a welcome sight. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. I mean, we're just trying to teach him how to use his lower body. Honestly, kind of how to sync up his lower body and his legs and use those as kind of the motor and how I can use my lower body to add speed. Um, otherwise, it's just so out of sync and um, just so much effort, right? Nobody's like, you can't try any harder and make a club go any slower. All right. Cool. Damn, I learned a lot already. All Holy right. shit. So let's hop in here. Okay. Um, all right, so cool. So keep this here, take this hand off, then open up this hand here. So I just want this thing a little more down the fingers. Okay. So you kind of get it up in your palm, right? It gets kind of hard to set it. Yep. So just a little more down our fingers. Make sure that this grips at the bottom of that butt cap right there. Okay. And so you look down, you're seeing probably two, almost three knuckles there now. Two, yep. Okay, perfect. Now put the other hand on. I'm in on this. I just want this, see, this little crease right here, I just want that to sit a little more in the pad there. Okay. So see how that sort of is on the trail side of the grip now? Okay. So we don't want this on, with this shaft, with this thumb running straight down the shaft that way. We want it this way. It's just gonna be just off center to there, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, and then all the other thing, just spin your knees just a little bit more and then just want, there you go. 
A little bit better posture there. You got that? Yep. <laughs> yeah, right. Different. So, right? Yeah. And so this deal is like, Kitchen a little bit, but the, what I really just don't want, I want this thing way under, and then that thumb sitting over here like this. You, you do know? that's how we you don't yeah. want that, okay? Yeah, I want this puppy to kind of come in here and grab the side of that club. I see how that finger's right on the back of the shaft now. Yeah, so really just trying to not get so bent over. You notice how, like, when you start, uh, <coughs> when you start off, how much you stand straight up before you get going, right? I was like, I get the top of my spine way out, so there's no way I'm gonna put anything on this this way when I'm out of balance that way. Yeah. So it's like you waste some little time on turning because like I'm not ready to go. Oh, I see. Like I got to get back to where I can move from. Yeah. When the top of the spine gets so out. So when you get big chest and the top of the spine kind of sitting there with the balls of your feet. All right, let's go ahead and set up here. So take it about halfway back and just stop. All right, cool. So now think about right here. It's like I got my, my club's made it this far, right? Yeah. My zipper, my, my left femur, my left knee still staring at the target line. Yep. It's done zero. And basically my chest has made it to me. So yeah. See how out of sync early that is? Right. So if I said, all right, I gotta use, I need to use this front side here to start driving me back and let my hips turn that way. So now you see how this pocket and this femur's kind of lined up to this now? Yeah. So like if this hip never drives back and this never turns, you know, never goes internal that way, right? Right. And I can't ever turn my hips. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, so what we're gonna do is just, I just want you to start syncing this up, just little bitty motions. And by the time this club kind of gets to that 45, this is turned with it. See that? Right, so I'm not just gonna stand here. I need to drive off this foot, turn this hip. So turn it like that? Yep. Bring it like... There you go. Yeah. like that? Yep. Yeah, that's so much different than what I'm talking about this trail side too, but... Good, perfect. We'll work into it so much better. Good. Ooh, I might be dusting off some cobwebs on those hips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? I don't think they've moved like that maybe ever. Like if I got a little, let's say I got real, like if I get real flared feet, yeah. kind of sitting back on my heels, it's really hard for me to use my front foot to get me going. Right. Right. So it's like when you get set up, square feet up just a little bit, especially the left foot. There you go. You know, square. Barely flared, yeah. Okay. Good. So you see these boys are synced up, start driving off that front foot, drive back and turn. There you go. And then that's pretty much done, right? And then the torsos can keep on going to here. Yeah. But that would be a huge range of motion compared to where we've been. <laughs> right. Right. So then just stay there and then grab this club up here. See, oh, might scare somebody right there. Yeah, that looked good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jake, how's it look? The two like ultimate turn killers, right, would be like if I just stuck my lead side in concrete. Right. Femur and knee just kept staring at the ball. Yeah. And then I just bent my right arm a bunch. Yes. Because I can get the club to top without doing anything like in my midsection. Right. Right. So it's like if my right arm doesn't just stand there and pick the club up, right. then I have to turn a little more to get it to top. Does that make sense? Yeah. There you go. And do I need it? Because I just, I do feel like I come here. Do I need, that'll pull it up that way? Yeah, well, it's just if I said, take it back down here. It's like if I just said, no, this isn't, I don't want it this much, but if I just said, hey, there's, you're done. Now get, you don't get to bend this a bunch, you don't get to cock this anymore. Like, yeah. How'd you get it up the top? It's like, you better go, 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 this dude better keep driving it all the way to here, right? Right. That arm's gonna bend more than that, I'm just saying. Yeah. You can get to the top, if you just stand there and bend your arm, you can get the club to where you get it with literally zero turn. Right. Right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can already yeah. feel like my side is, woo baby. <laughs> She's barking already, but that's okay. That means I just haven't done that. Yeah. Which is, I have to stop doing what I've been doing. Right. I gotta beat a sweat going. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't really done much of anything. Again, I said endurance might be an issue, but I'm good. Sorry. Right. I feel like it I takes many breaks. No. It's your show. <laughs> I'm getting here tightened up a little bit. But the whole thing, right, is to be able, when you get down to it, it's like I'm trying to move in a way that I'm able to control, well, obviously to be balanced, right? Yeah. In a way that I'm able to control the speeds and like time, rhythm, whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah. And it's like when I know there's no way for me to kind of distribute the energy like my backswing and my downswing and have any kind of symmetry to it, right. just kind of control, right? Yeah. Uh, if one side is so zero, right? and I'm basically standing here with everybody's out other than me just putting my arms up here. Right. It's like I look out there and the hole's 200 yards away. Huh. It's like, well, of course you're gonna jump it, right? Yep. You gotta find something to hit it with. Um, whereas this, like you take like that right screen, right? That starting to look more like a player. Isn't that it? looks more like a player. All right, we're gonna go sync them up a little bit, and then we're gonna start hitting some little slow ones with it. Okay. Yeah, it was the first time I had watched my swing like that. 
Um, I never really watch my swing on video. Uh, the first thing I notice is that I need to lose weight. That's number one. I gotta lose some weight. And then number two, it is stunning how much I did not use my legs. And we talk about feel versus real. Where if you had asked me, what do you think your swing is like before I saw it on video? I thought it, I mean, I thought it looked like Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods' swing. But it doesn't. You can see there's a lot of problems with it. And just seeing it for the first time and seeing the parts that weren't moving was a big eye opener. Because I was always wondering why I didn't have as much power, why my driver doesn't go as far, why my irons don't go as far as some other guys. And it's because I just don't use my legs. And that's where most of your power comes from. So to just completely not use those, that's why I was getting no power. So that was the biggest takeaway was 50% of my body and probably the most powerful part of my body was just not a part of the golf swing at all. And that's a problem. Very glaring issue. When you stand, just stand there frozen and the top of your back swings at your right shoulder. It's pretty glaring. That's so bad. But that's all right. That's why you're here. Right. That's why I'm so sore. <laughs> That's why you're sore too. Mm. All right, I'm gonna sneak sneak golf ball in here. We're just gonna hit a few. <laughs> All right. I got waters. I brought oh. waters. I'm good right now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, the world didn't end. <laughs> you know? Didn't. I was worried about that. Mm -hmm. yep. We are breaking 100, my friend. <laughs> so let's say old us, right? Even if it was on time, right? So like I take a club back on a beat, touch the ground on a beat, right? So like old us would go pretty decent time, maybe a little fast. Yeah. But it'd basically be like stand there. Um, Right. Right. Instead of so we got our little where everybody's playing to here. Go ahead and drive it back and turn. Back swing swing. Oh. Lead side. Left foot in. There you go. So I got this would be sort of tight. That'd be my takeaway to here. Okay. Right. And then I don't get to hit the ground until the next one. Right. Okay. Right. And then what we're going to play around with is like how much time can you put him, can we bully it and take all the grunt off of this so that I can actually use my lower body. Woo! I'm sweating my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right though. That's good. I don't, yeah, that's work. So you just. Beautiful, yep, exactly. Awesome, keep cruising in there. Just keep cruising on for a cue. Man. Think about the transition speeds though. Like that feel like you're taking a nap compared to normal. Yeah, oh right. yeah, yes. See, there's no way like for you to jump that thing right here. No. And not be ahead of the second one. Right. right. And people could, I mean, whatever you talk positions whatever you want it's like if i run up there like that's the game right like you just you'll see it all over when you start looking and it's like i can't i don't really have any control of that if like i know that i'm screwed at halfway back yeah i gotta get some load on this club right i'm always gonna jump it so like if i'm out of sync early and don't have any turn it's so hard for me to not blow everything i got right, right out top which is ultimately the biggest culprit you got is like no turn equals uh no drive no turn equals the crazy transition like you down. got these really beautiful arms and club face and <laughs> everything it's just like doesn't matter nobody's driving the boat right doesn't matter who i might need a towel let's take a break <sighs> 30 second count he's working me for real <laughs> you know i was like yeah we'll go down to georgia we'll just you know swing a few Hit times you, i'll break 100 lane. and it'll be nothing yeah <sighs> sweating my ass off so anytime you feel that loss of balance, right, where you fall over, yeah, it's like th that's the upper body trying to pull that club down there so hard instead of kind of having the patience, having the time, letting, letting the feet and the knees drive this thing a little bit. Okay. So that was perfect. I don't know. What does that, like, like that has to feel like, we got days up here. Before yes. Day, compared to the other one, right? Yeah. Because that time would be longer, but the change of speed would be way sharper. Right. Right? Yes. Boom. Whoa! There she is. That felt right. <laughs> that felt how it's supposed to felt. Straight. Feel. Got one. Okay. Let it be known. 1204. <laughs> Our first strike without falling down. I, I'll be very curious to see how I feel tomorrow in terms <laughs> of my body. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's, <laughs> tomorrow's shaping up to be a short game of course management day, <laughs> right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of putting. <laughs> 
stretching. The teacher, yeah, the teacher wants to watch a movie or you know whatever we want to do. Right. <laughs> there you go. Good. So, uh, matter of fact, just drop this quick for a second. So just pretend you're holding on there. So it's like this dude's going to there, and that helps him drive back and turn. Yep. And this dude starts pushing, and then he goes in there the same way the other guy did. Helps yeah. Turn. So like one's pushing off, like I got to move away from something if I'm gonna move back to it. Yep. So I move away from it, and then I'm turning that. And that makes that little look of that lead side, right? Then I'm moving towards something, and I'm turning into it. Right. So literally going this way and that way. I need that to happen, do it again. I need that to happen, and that to happen. So they're not on the same clicker. Right. Right? Right. He is a good student. That makes it seem more- That lie to me. That makes it seem more simple. That are just like, it's not that simple, but it is. There we go, that's closer, right? Yeah. Nice. It's a little different from the trail foot there, isn't it? Yeah. All right, one more time. Okay. Nice. All right, so cool. So talk to me there, so drop kick. Drop kick. Which means? What does all, it mean? All the throw out, right? All the gas. Right. Is done early. So there'd be like two ways to drop kick, right? It's like one guy could just sort of, like we started, we could just stand here and tomahawk his arms down the dirt. Yeah. Another guy could just go so bonkers, get over here so soon that he's done. Yeah. And he turn through it and throw it down there. Right. So it still runs back to like, how was I carrying that through in this time and speed that we were doing earlier? Yeah. Right, with the clickers? Okay. Good. Good. What you'll start sensing on those is like, is that perfect? No, but it's literally whatever club that would be like, that's on any green right. in the world right there, right? A little hit behind, but you'll start sensing like, I know what to do. It's right. Like, that damn golf ball is like the devil. Like it just totally overrides like my job. Yes. Like I know where I'm trying to do in the lower body. I know the timings. I know how I'm trying to sync this thing up. And then I throw a ball down there. You know, it's the whole, like, I can't take it from the range to the court. It's yep. like, well, what changes? Like, you don't get worse at golf in five minutes. Yeah. Right? But if you go and you took, and you put the speed and the times on it, it's like, that's what changes. It's yes. like, the freak out about the outcome just jacks the whole thing. Right. Look at it. It feels so much better. Right. Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> you see, like this last two hours of misery, it's just like, I don't care. Everybody says that's almost an impossible task, like the last batch of shots, and you'll go through that. <laughs> Everybody's like, what? I can't tell you, you I'm gonna be in my no, hotel room doing this all night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So much better. I'll land in pretty much the same area, which is, I mean, that doesn't really matter, but like, it's just nice. It's just nicer. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Man. Come on, man. <laughs> nice. This is the best one. It's like, <laughs> it's just like, what have I been doing? And I understand that you are a master and you know what you're doing, so I would have never figured this out on my own. But it's just like, I'm glad I, we got here. <laughs> like, Me too. <laughs>
Like, what are, what are we doing wrong? I would say most guys are always trying to, it's just like understanding how to use the bottom of the club, right? And get enough pressure in the sand to get the ball out. So right. Let's try to get it out of the bunker, try to pick it up, pop up, flip at it, you know, try to, they hit a bunch behind it sometimes, you know, yeah. or it's all low point when you get down to it. It's like being able to shove the bottom of the club in the right place in the sand. But I see so many people hang back, try to lift it up out of the sand, you know? Yeah. And they don't, they don't swing and they're scared to go ahead and hit down enough that they can put some speed in them. Right. You know. Out one. Out. It's out it's one. Out. Way out. one. We got to shift it, but it's out. It's out. All right. Yeah. All right. All right, they're coming out. They're just going too far. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually okay with a lot of this if we're taking big picture. Okay. I'll dig these feet in a little bit. So we already got that. Choke up a little bit. We're going to open club face a little bit. Okay. I'm going to start there. Okay. It's like a swing to the right with a shut face. It's like I'm going to hit the sand further behind when I'm swinging a bunch that way. Yeah. And then I got a face that's coming in there shut. Okay. Or a leading edge first, right? It's going to dig. Yeah. So it's like. So open the face. So like if you just got set up again like normal, it's like if this was. Even if we didn't open our stance in the bunker, even if we were squared away here, like if that's straight, I could touch sand right here. Okay. Well, like if I swing over this way, I'm gonna touch back here, right? Yeah. And then I do it with a square face, it digs like crazy. Yep. So see, like if I have this going on though, if I'm swinging straight down this target line, yeah. Obviously, bottom's gonna get a little further forward. Yeah. But just from open the face a little bit, I can at least get the bottom of the club in the sand. Yeah. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. That's touching, right? Yeah. So far back. Right. I mean, that's way back there. Yep. So same little thing. I got a little weight here. Top of the spine is going to stay right over top of it, right? I'm not going to drift back. We know that's dead. Yep. I'm sensing a little bit of that direction. Okay. So when I come on through this, it's like I have the same thing kind of going on bunker shots. It's like I need, I need to carry this puppy on through this way. Yeah. And just shut everything down and throw my hands past me way back here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I want this whole motion to be done right here and everybody's in there at the same time. Okay. okay. So I'm not gonna stop and then throw this thing behind, past me and bounce it off the shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. More like this. There she is. There she is. Really, I dislike bunkers to the point where I honestly think they should get rid of them and go. <laughs> I don't think bunkers should be allowed. Everything is just grass, grass, grass. And then they're like, how about this fucking sand? Right. You want some of that? Yeah. It's like, no. No, I do not. It's crazy. My man. Here we go. Let's go. All right, best one yet. <laughs> Let's go. Just back up from it just a little bit. Oh. Not quite that much. Okay. Barely further. Yeah, there you go. Same thing now. Beautiful. There it is. Look at that. That one's nice. Nice. That one just has like pro audio. You hear that? So like I'm like I'm a pro? That, that little like pro that audio. Doof. That's kind of what I'm looking for, you know? Just yeah. if, it, if it sounds good and it looks okay, that'll work. Right. Okay, yes. 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 Like, absolutely <laughs> absolutely okay so stand a little bit further away from it. i think that helps yeah. when i stand a little bit more away from it because then i'm not like i'm just not doing what i used to do well it's like the pieces we're putting in though right is like to get bottom more forward yeah we need it but it's like you stand there touching your junk right and then you steep it up we caught us a couple hosels with some good swing yeah all we've done set up wise basically yeah. Face a little more over. Yep. A little further from it. Set up a little downhill. Set up a little downhill, yep. Yeah. My man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How Let's good go. is that? Let's That's go. great. Oh. Yes. Success. So good. Let's go. Let's go. I'm much more confident because I, like like the rest of my game, anytime I go anywhere, I just don't know what I'm doing. Now okay. I got a plan. You got a plan. Got a plan.
All right, so we were headed over to uh, do something that had nothing to do with bunkers, but now JT wants to take us back into a bunker, because and, and a worse, more severe bunker, just to see if I can do it. So we'll see. How hit however many in a row out, so I took him up to the our other little trim green, the bunker, the big huge lip, and threw one up there. It was like a stop by too, right? It was like it was a drive by. There's no reason for us to do it. We were on a high, and I should have just kept on going, and then. Let's go, let's go do something else. Dude, that, that sounded... <laughs> Had some thump, thud. Oh. Yes, yes. Stop and threw one in there and he just thumps it right out of there, straight up in the air, salt. <laughs> and honestly, I was kind of done for the day right then. It's once again, I think it's, it's more trouble that we've had before where it's just no power, so. And we placed a lake on the right for you too. Great, right, yeah. Left to right wind. Except the golf really ball. Bad. That was really bad. We got our couple knuckles right, so we're facing wide ass open. Yep. We synced it up here. Come on with it. Yeah. We're gonna keep this deal up, right? We're gonna keep the gas on the puppy all the way here. Give it, give it time to do it. Okay. Chill. 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 <laughs> I don't even know if I want to see another one after that, actually. Look, look at where I hit that, where I hit the ground. Look how much distance there is between where I hit and where the tee is. So, like, if you were playing golf at all seriousness, like, you walk out here and park, you shoot that and it says 129. Yep. What do you do? What do you do? I grab my, I grab nine my iron. nine iron. Okay. What do you think about that? So, like, look at this shot right here. First yeah. of all, like, that pin is... Eight or nine past middle. Yep. Right? So let's just say center of that green's 120. Yep. Long is totally dead. Right. Right? And it's pumping downwind. Okay. I see so, what you're so saying. So it's like I'm at 120 to the middle with no wind, straight downwind. Yeah. Right? So it's like this is like a 115 yard shot. Okay. 113 yard shot. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It makes a lot of sense. So what are you aiming at? Uh. I should probably aim towards where there's more green. <laughs> now we're talking. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come 129 on. right at it. Oh, <laughs> Back right, pumping downwind. Yeah. Oh my. What just happened? Watch this. What just happened? Look at this. What just happened? T rent. Strike. Dude. Look where, look where that ball landed though. Yeah. Right in between those trees. But same shot with nine iron. Gone. Double. You even took a little earth. That was pure, dog. But like, like when you look at this, what do you see? So obviously like the biggest, I mean the biggest skill is being able to control where your ball stops. Yeah. But I mean obviously you have to be able to read greens, have some kind of anticipation what's going to happen, how long it's going to be on the ground. If you can't read them, you're going to have a tough time with speed. Even if you could control speed. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Sure. So if you came here to this midpoint, let's say before, if you didn't even put your feet on, like you came halfway to this putt. And you look at that, it's like, just give me an idea what you see here. If this was your putt. This is my putt? Yeah. I feel like it's going a little downhill right to left. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, if you just stood here like this and looked at the flag, clearly have more pressure on this foot than the other. Right. Right? Yep. Imagine, imagine if that had gone in. I did, was going to keep my <laughs> mouth off of it. All right. If you were to ask me, like, what is the thing that I'm least worried about, it's putting. Yeah. I mean, reading greens is a whole different thing because I suck at that sometimes. But, like, with putting stroke and with, especially with this putter, I've, I've learned the speed of it pretty well. Right. I kind of know what I'm doing. So our, like, four pillars at this point are, like, I got to I gotta drive it in play. Yep. Right. Um, I got some serious like strategy work to do. Yep. I get out of bunkers. I do that and now. I read greens better. Yes. That's kind of that where I can't shoot 100. Right. If, the, if those happen, right? Right. If I stick to what we've been learning today and I figure that stuff out, I should not be shooting 100. Yeah. No, we're going 2023 20, for the Trent breaking 90. That's serious. That's volume two. 
Okay. It became very apparent very quickly that my course management skills are at about a zero. If you're looking at it as a Madden rating, it's probably about a zero. I just, like when I'm out there, when I'm out there, I'm as crazy as it sounds, I'm just swinging and I'm aiming at pins, which is preposterous <laughs> for a guy like me. Good. Yeah, I'm actually happy with That's that. Good. Here, hit it again. See all that slice stuff? We could put that into, let's go ahead and set up. Bring all that ball there. So like, just let go, or keep your hands on the club and just take all the grip pressure out. Okay. See that right where that's pointing? Yeah. It's like that's square. Okay. And now I'm gonna just barely move the ball up on you a little bit here. But like there's square face. Like that was a really good swing, but you start with the club on the ground like this. Yeah. Which I don't blame you, right? From what it was with the oh, slice. Yeah. Yep. But Alright. Okay. This is traumatic. Um, <laughs> no, he. That's a big deal, though, right? Like penalty shots off the tee from just hitting catastrophic shots is a, uh, is a big deal. So work. It's the same thing. So it's just obviously it's going to get more exaggerated, right? The longer the club, the harder you try to hit something. Um, so that that part wasn't great, but there's a lot of good stuff on course management. That as far as you know, him reaching his goal between between not staying in a bunker for a day when you get in there, and then better course management, um, he sh he should be able to break a hundred like that just on that. So that should happen pretty soon, I would hope. How do I not make this? Just a say, like just pretend like we hadn't talked about any of this thing. Where, where would your head be at normally? I might even just take like a seven and try and hit something out here. I like that. Yeah. Heard it, never saw it. Heard it, never saw it. Sounded good. It's, huh? it's right in front of that big tree right there. Felt good, sounded good. Yeah. Didn't know where it went. So obviously you see like that whole green kind of slips right to left. Yeah. And then left the flags off the green. We got this branch up here. Yeah. We could hang around for a while. It's like basically if I punch anything that gets on the ground, that gets up there, that lands over this pine, past this pine tree short of the green. Yeah. Chase up there just a little bit, right on the right side of the green. Yep. It's like whatever, I got some attempt at par, make my bogey, get out of here, no big deal. Right. What should, what would I hit? Well, I mean you gotta have something you can kind of hit this little half to half that wouldn't get high enough to hit that. So it can't be could not be more than eight iron for sure, right? Nine iron maybe. I think you probably hit nine iron. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I mean you pured it, but <laughs> I forgot to thought we were 70 yards from the hole. Yeah. All right, let me, let me try this again. Let me okay. caddy better. Pro, we got 70 yards. Okay. okay. Oh! Yeah, okay. oh. <laughs> right. Exactly what you did. Oh, 70 yards at the most. All right. More reason. All right. No big deal. Nope. So, not to play like a scaredy cat, but like let's do it in an anticipation world, right? It's like, how do I make a total mess out of this? It's like, I obviously see that this thing's breaking a bunch. Like looking back, I can tell it's breaking a bunch right to left. Yeah. Well, it's like the thing gets to that. Oh yeah. The brown thing is off the green. Yep. Right. So, so we're gonna play real scaredy cat, which, yeah. I'm, which I'm down with. Yeah. Well, it's just like I just gotta feed this thing from the high side and have it dying up here. You know, if it gets to the whole grade. Yeah. I have to rule out that. Right. 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 I'm not saying we're trying to leave it 12 feet short. It's just. We don't want to be. You gotta have some common sense to know that where I'm at right now, that once that thing gets eight feet past the hole, it's off the green. Yeah. And it sounds crazy, but when I'm putting from 80 feet, it doesn't take that much to do it, right? No. Trent, Trent, come on, man. I thought you fell asleep in your backstroke. There. Remember, remember when I said putting, I'm pretty confident in? <laughs> that's, that's tough. <laughs> I 
I suck. <laughs> that's an easy triple. I suck. You're right. Four now th that's how you that's shoot, how you shoot a hunter. That's right. right. I'm glad I got to see this. I think it's our last hole of the day for practice. I'm I'm a dead body. I'm a fully a dead body. I just feel good about this one. You do? Yeah. Okay. Last hole, downwind. Could land the plane on that fairway. This is we got this. Okay. All the way to the top. Bench back swing. <laughs> I owe you guys money for these tea boxes. No. <laughs> this is a legit project. Oh yes, dude! Did I do that? Was that was straight. That was. hammered actually. Roll it down there. Straight. Potentially the straightest drive I've ever hit. Wow. The driver on that hole felt fantastic because, and I'm sure we have video of the other holes of me hitting driver, and it doesn't go all that well. I'm hitting eight inches behind the ball. I'm tearing up Cuscoilla tee boxes. I still <laughs> feel bad about that. But it's just with the new swing, with there's more moving parts, and I'm trying to hit it harder. I'm just all over the place. Like normally, if you've watched any foreplay videos, I just, I use all my arms and I just swing softly and it goes 200 yards, but it usually ends up in the fairway. That's fine enough, but with this new swing with more moving parts, I'm just not used to that yet. And my drives were all over the place. Hit a couple trees, chunked a couple off the tee. But then on that hole, I hit the type of drive I always want to hit, which was just pure, straight down the middle, as good as you can hit it. I mean, that was the best drive of the day by far. Man! Woo! Holy moly. Almost got tired enough that he just can't bully it with his upper body. Yeah. I've almost beat you down enough you have to use your legs. Was this your plan all day? Just yes. to get me so tired that I have to start following your mechanics? Yep. It's working. <laughs> it has fully worked. Like, We've... Those are back-to-back -back strikes. Oh, yeah. Let's get down here. Do not mess this up. Oh, here we go. That's two phenomenal shots in a row. Makes everything worth it. Felt so. Gone. It's fine. Okay. It's going. This could get ugly. He even just, he laughed when we pulled up. He just started laughing. There's so much going on in this, right? So basically, no matter what shot you hit, from where that is, down slope, down grain, downwind, to a green that's pitching straight downhill, downwind, downwind. Yep. It's like, if this ball lands on the green, it's in that bunker. Yep. I know we're average at it now, but still, it's like <laughs> the one thing that can't happen is this ball fly to the green. Okay. Right? Oh, no. Landed it right, right on the green. Oh, no. Landed it right on the green. <laughs> he laid him to water. Remember those first two good shots, though? You did stripe those two. I remember those. But I mean, those shots are in there, right? And all jokes aside, like these are the things. Like this. Oh is, yeah. This is how you shoot a hundred, right? For sure. A little bit better. Yep. Take that. Out. One and a half. Good. Really good putt. That, that Sevens are where I live right now. Right now. Se six, seven, eight. It's just like, it's just not going to get it done because I put myself in those situations. Yeah. You can say when y'all walked in, I was like, this is uh, like a pretend thing. Like, this is cheating. It's going to be a layup, not a layup. This yeah, is, this is real. This is a real thing. Right, it's a real problem. This is a this is a real thing. Right, but we're definitely gonna break hundred. Yeah, really quick. As quick as you had first anticipated when we walked in. May maybe. A, I thought it was a little more of a layup. Yeah. Honestly, on this kind of stuff, golf swing and stuff, I get it. Right, but. We could do a bunch of this. 
you could still break 100 just doing a better job out here. Easy. Yeah. You know, yeah. with what you got. The report of how I feel tomorrow is going to be interesting. But I'm ready for another day. It's going to be awesome. Because I saw enough today that, like, I know we're heading in the right direction. Oh, yeah. Like, we're big gonna, time. We're going to dominate this thing. Yeah. So if you think about this, right, all series is 13 and 14. Yeah. Uh, what would be bogey, at worst, bogey, bogey. Yeah. We made triple, double with perfect golf shots. That's my game. <laughs> with perfect execution. That's my game. Flushed both of them. I did. You did. Just weren't going anywhere near the hole. Yeah. All right. You got it. Fun day. Great day. We're leaving the hotel right now and I got a text uh, from JT. This is what he said. He said, I understand the level of redneck within this request, but can y'all grab me a can of wintergreen Copenhagen on your way? So that's what we're gonna do. If our guy JT wants some wintergreen Copenhagen, he's getting wintergreen Copenhagen. Maybe I'll throw one in before we get there. No, I'm not gonna do that. Day two, here we are. Um, I'm sore, I'm very sore, but that's okay. That means we did a lot of good work yesterday. Um, I thought about a lot of the things that JT told me. I, I let it marinate in my brain like he told me to. And I think, I think I'm just a new golfer now. I'm not a great golfer. I don't know if I'm a breaking 100 golfer, but I'm certainly a better golfer than I was yesterday. And that's the goal. Sorry, I'm such a degenerate redneck. No, that was, that was one of the funnier texts I've ever gotten. <laughs> just like, hey, when you're on your way in, I understand. you can grab some Copenhagen. How redneck this is, but. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be a bit of a lighter day. Yep. Not as much, you know, breaking my body down to the point where I can't listen to anything except what he's saying. Which I didn't realize that last night. That was the tactic. You just, you work me for nine hours to the point where I can't even think in my own head. And the only thing that I'm thinking in my head are the things that you're saying to me. Yeah. That was a stroke of genius. Although in the moment I was like, I'm gonna pass out. Yeah. It worked. Like, I, I mean, we're gonna find out. We are going to day two. We'll see if that stuff stuck. I was thinking about it last night, trying to let it all marinate, thinking about the old me thinking about the new me, and I'm hoping when I slept, it all just kind of, it, it sunk in even more. That's the hope. Are you, Do you sore, sore? I'm like pretty sore. Yeah. Like my legs are sore, yeah, my back's I mean, a little sore. Do you have like, do you have any stretches that you do? We have plenty of stuff we can make you do. Really? Yeah. Like what? Just try not to move your head or your hips around much. Put your feet on straight. Okay. Not narrow or straighter. Straight. <laughs> That's it, yeah. That's straight. This, that. Okay. This. Yeah. Yeah, I do a lot of circles. Palms down, you're going forward. I'm already tired. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> same, same thing, but palms up now, and then you're going to do circles backwards. Same little thing you did right here, but then take them and put them on your temple. Yeah. Are you messing with me now? No, no. Okay. Put your elbows back. Dude, I'm, I'm, my arms are already tired. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Bro. Dude. Oh, we got 25 rows. What? Like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, see the legs wait, I think. Wait, wake them up. Yeah. On your hands and knees. You did take me to dinner last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a not safe for work tag on this video. T ten. Let's just do ten this way. Oh! How's that feel? Oh! Stay there. Woo! Let it, let it let it let off. Deep breath. That's breaths. burning. Deep breath. That's a it. real burn. <laughs> Deep breath. Let it let it. So this is what this is something kids does. Yeah. It moves around a lot better than me. Actually, so you're going up, over, down. Okay. Same thing the other way as you walk. Like that? Yeah. And walk forward. There you go. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Try to land. Put your foot not pointing like at the table. Land it like straight forward. You, I got a warm up for you. You and me just go fight out in the, in the yard. <laughs> Come on, that for a warm up. <laughs> there you go. Come on. Don't stop. Walk. <laughs> like a baby taking his first steps. <laughs> It's supposed to be a little more dynamic. It's supposed to be a little faster. <laughs> this was supposed to be done a minute and a half ago. Oh! <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll let you end on this. Closest you can get to it. Come on, big dog. What? Come on, big dog. <laughs> there we go. It's close enough. It's just, it's just sweat.
<laughs> right behind. <laughs> Dude. What's the hand Is this a joke? Are you, are you gonna, oh, what's it? Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it, man. Alright, alright, arms out, arms out, palms up. Okay. I'm gonna start getting around with your little square. There we go. Flex your quads. Put your toes down and back towards you. Oh! So keep these flex. And yeah. Keep pulling toes down. <laughs> A little sweat mark there. Ooh. Okay. What's next? <laughs> Let's just get to moving. Okay. Yeah, I think it was the yoga. I it think was so. Activated. I just feel like I'm looser, you know? Although, I mean, it felt like torture at the time, but I feel better. Trent Daddy. How's that looking? Look here. Yeah. Still running too far off it, right? In the lower body? Yep. But man, it's like at least we got some life going on now. Yeah, it's alive. That, yeah, the, the lower half is alive. It's alive. It's alive. Yeah, I was focused on keeping my head from not shifting back. Yeah, you're doing way better than the top. Right, yeah. but I gotta work on the, the lower body. Yeah. We're back in the lab, the sweat lab. <sighs> we'll keep working on this trail side. Learning how to kind of drive this thing instead of just sort of spinning out. Yeah. Yeah, why are we going back in this room? Way better, right? Yeah. Now, if this if this doesn't do anything and this just pulls, 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 that's where I get that, that little look, right? Right, the spin. All sagging, pulled out, yeah. like falling off to your left heel, toe in there. Yep. Okay. But if this foot actually started driving this knee downhill, see that? Yeah. And then I turn, then I'll obviously end up on my toe. Yeah. Right? And that's better. That's right. But that's what we saw like in the bunker basically, right? Was yeah. like this deal. Right. You know, I was talking about how that sag, like this right knee goes out towards the ball. Yeah. And you had that tilt where you can't hit, you can't get bottom in front of it or further forward. Yeah. That's why. So it's like if I keep chucking, it's like, well, if my trail side just gets pulled down and behind me, it's like I can't get the bottom of the swing over here. Yeah. So like I've got to use that trail foot to get me driving. That was forward and downhill to have something to turn into. Right. right? Yeah. How? There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. See, then obviously, obviously post impact, right? That's going to come. So this is going to start straightening. Yeah. And that's going to come up to the top. Right. Okay. Yep. Let's go. So I start adding in all the way to full finish. So when you're done, this heel's off the ground. This leg's straight. The only thing that's on the uh, ground on my trail side is my right big toe. Okay. Yeah. It's basically that, right? Yeah. It's just everybody just straight spinning. <clears throat> so really true, it's like the weight's going straight to the right toe. It's like right toe, left heel on the battle. Right toe, left heel. Yeah. The battle's just going like that. So it's like that foot is just getting pulled around. It's yeah. not doing anything to actually drive pressure into your front foot. Right. Okay. Nice, that's better. Yeah. See how that leg starts stabilizing and ultimately straightens? Yep. Nice. Nice. Good. The shots that shoot 100 are all bottoms too far back. Yep. Like just objectively, like that's ultimately the goal. Right? Yeah. I'm trying to make it move better. But the biggest issue as far as club hitting ground, it in swing direction, it's not club face. It's where the club hits the ground. Yeah. Like that's the killer, right? Right. This would basically be you at top. You would be go ahead and take it top bad one right right is way back here and falling down an upslope yeah and then pull and spin open it's like there's no way you can get no right, unless you just swung way across it right so right you could have managed to put like a good swing direction on that it's hitting way behind it right all right so now flip around to me kind of flip that on its head a little bit so i still drive back right yeah this turns doesn't drift you see now when i start pushing down this slope oh yeah now I can get bottom further forward. Downhill. Right. That's right. Right. Good. Yeah, it stayed there. There you go. Stay driving down the slope. <clears throat> Good. 
good. Good. See, now I hate that right to clear it all out. Yeah, it's right. Because it. it's going to make me go. That's right. Yeah, this keeps it more stable. Yep, good. I'm not worried about hitting these people at all. Definitely not thinking about that. <laughs> you know, I've got... That's not crossed your mind? That no, you I've had 24 hurt. hours of training with a great swing coach. There's no way I hit any of these people. No, I don't think so either. That guy's got an eye on me now. He heard me. Nice, dude. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. No, those guys are in the danger zone for sure. I want JT to be confident in me, but those people could get hurt. Again. Yeah. Drop kicking it. Yeah. So you got one job right now. We put you in full stress. Tough, tough environment. <laughs> <laughs> you got he literally ran. He running. literally ran away <laughs> from what we were trying to do. He's like, ah, I'm just gonna go clean my. Gonna... I think I'm gonna clean my clothes. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go do anything else than this. <laughs> I gotta be anywhere other than here. No, sorry. No, I apologize. <laughs> we, we started hitting balls behind you. <laughs> yeah. No, you're fine. That was the ultimate test of trust. <laughs> Sweet. What the fuck? Is, it, is that a giant bee? You're, you're a man, again. <laughs> Example number it's two. It's a carpenter bee. I don't even know if they... Carpenter bee? That thing was the size of a, of a falcon. <laughs> They're no match for a hat, of course. You're such a man, it's crazy. <laughs> Way better. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah, I just gotta let the legs go first. Yeah. So that's, still, that's, that's the big thing. I still like, sometimes feel like I'm trying to time them at the same time. Yeah. And that's death. Right. Right. That's yeah, it. I mean, because if I drift it just a little, even if I do it just a little bit, right, and start running outside the foot like that, and then it just starts pulling. Just think about that, right? Like, I'm open, and it's like my right knee's going out towards the ball, right, that way. It's yeah. like, how in the world would I ever get in front of it? Right. Like, this knee just keeps going towards the ball. How am I supposed to get over here? Yeah. Like, the ball's got, the knee, it's like, it's got to get that direction first, that way, so that can turn. Yes. Okay. Look where we ran our guy out of practice. He's, in the, in the He's going over as far as he can. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> oh, look at a ball. <laughs> Chase that guy. There he goes. Nice. All right. One. One. Again. Again. <laughs> Boom. Two? Two. Yes. Let's go. All right. Let's go wipe that sweat off. Okay. What sweat? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <sighs> I can't really see it, but I mean, my glasses, I don't know if you can see that. It's just pure sweat. Man, you're such a better golfer right now. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel it. I mean, it's secure on one after the other right now. That boom boom. It's big. That's big. It is. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Holy shit. Maybe the best 7-9 I've ever did in my life. Yep. The noise. Yep. The noise again. This guy's getting better. Yeah. Getting better golf. Yep. Big dog time. It's big dog time. We know I have issues with this as we saw yesterday. Just really bad. But I think I, I'm, I, I'm gonna figure it out. Same pattern. Right. right. It just gets more exposed because of the hit. Right, the and I just, I just gotta slow it down. Yeah. Beautiful. That's it, big dog. Hit us one. Nice. Yeah. Good swing, right? Yeah. Get down on it a little bit, that's why it kind of popped up, but that's all dress stuff, so get set up here again. Okay. It's obviously driver, like balls on the tee, right? Yep. So I'm trying to catch it on the level or up, right? I'm not trying to hit down on it. So like, I wanna make sure it kind of inside of that hill there. Yeah. Don't walk up with me. Don't walk up with you. Yep. And then I'm just gonna set this a little bit at an angle there, right? And just help hit up on it a little bit. Okay. okay. Then do the same thing? Yep, same thing now. 
Oh. It's all the same stuff here though, right? I'll go that way. Right. See how that's gonna drag it straight across it. We need our two in a row, same as that over there. All a little further up. Yep, sit back on a little bit more. There you go. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Yes. You striped a high draw right out of the teeth. Yeah, this guy doesn't draw balls yeah. either. This guy doesn't hit draws. He's a, he's a cut guy, a slice pure. guy. That was pure. My man. Feeling better? Yeah. Putting. Something we haven't really worked on because I've, I mean, I've been telling JT that I'm a pretty good putter. And I think I am. But there's also like the good is really good, but the bad is really, really bad. Now before you hit this putt, take it back. Show me how far do you need to take it back for that distance? Doesn't matter, just what feels right. There? Yeah. And if I move that ball out of the way, where would you finish if that was the ball? There? Yeah. Cool. All right, so put the ball back in the middle. All right, so make the stroke, but you got to stop here and here. Okay. So that's not going to be near enough of a stroke, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Same thing? Yeah. Okay, cool, whatever. Point is, like, I'm trying to balance out this stroke, right? So right. on the golf course, like, I take it back this far and real slow and then try to hit at it. Yeah. Right? So I need to have some, a little bit of symmetry kind of balancing this stroke out. So whatever that is, whatever those would be, it'd be a decent little way to sort of practice it. It's like, hey, if I'm gonna hit a three-footer. Those? Yeah, so it's like if I'm tapping in a three-footer. Yeah. whatever, right, and then make another stroke now back to the outside tees. All right, so it'll be one time, one amount of time on different lengths of stroke. I see. So like the little guy, he's only going this far, so if he's gonna be kind of the same time, it's gonna be really slow and smooth. Yeah. The other one's gotta go this far. Right. But if it's gonna be on the same time, it's gonna happen faster. Right. Right? Right. Basically, like, when things kind of get weird with people putting, I don't even know a good way to explain it other than, other than they stand here like this and just rock a baby. Yeah. Right. It's like it's like you're really just trying to like rib cage. You're really just trying to run this thing kind of like use my obliques to turn my rib cage back and forth. Yeah. So when I'm standing here doing this, right, nothing's like nobody's playing. No. And then that deal will start getting wobbly, shaky, like all the yippy guys. Right. Like the whole system isn't engaged, right? Yeah. So like Hold that putter up and just hover a little bit off the ground. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We'll just kind of bend your arms. Stay in posture, but just bend your arms. So let your arms kind of bend a little bit. So you see, these are kind of attached here. Right? Yeah. So it's like if I'm really using top of the spine stable, this is stable. Yep. But I'm trying to use these muscles to kind of run this thing back and forth. Right. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not turning, but it's just like I want to, I want to have some help here. Yeah. Right. So like everybody would be playing in this, right? Now this dude's like shut all this off yeah. just standing there going pull his hands push his hands yeah right yeah that makes sense yeah we'll run through your drills i said i was gonna give you two drills okay rule one i love this drill it's just like leapfrog so you can find a putt about this length okay let's call it 20 feet um so this is where you're starting from okay okay and you're gonna the first little marker it's halfway here. So first putt you hit, you're trying to hit it. So basically I'm trying to, what I'm really trying to do is hit this one, then this one. Trying to see how many, every ball's gotta go further than the one before it. Okay. So game ends when one ball's short of the one before it, or when a ball gets past the hole. Okay. Make sense? Yes. All right, so first putt, your job's to stop it past that tee. Very good. So, yeah. So it'd be like, here'd be a qualifier, right? So you'd stay there, I'll move this to here. That'd be one. Two. Marker moves to here. I suck. Nice. There we go. Three. So you're seeing how many you can get. 
Because, I mean, that'd be like the ultimate kind of gauge on speed control, right? Right. I can make my ball, let's say speed, it's just been, like being in control where the ball stops, right? So it's like, right. if I could sit here and go boom, boom, boom. Well, that guy's got great control of yeah. where his ball stops. So you're trying to get how many points you can get before you get Correct. to the hole. Game ends when one, this is the marker and this ball stops short. Yeah. Or I was running all the way up there next to the hole and when a ball passes the hole. Yeah. So okay. Like how many did I get in? Okay. So run that deal on like 20 foot uphill. Yeah. And then downhill. Now I actually get the game. Now you get the game. I was lying a couple minutes ago. You really didn't. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah no. Yeah, okay. I was like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now I actually get it. Very nice, Trent Daddy. Yeah. Got greedy. Five points. Took a lot of real estate there. Took a lot of real estate. That's a good one. Really good one there. Very good. Seven. Getting tight. Oh my, my hat. Good. Very good. That'll work? Yep. Eight. Yo. Eight. Eight. So it's short and I lose. Or the right. game's over. That's where it ends, right? Okay. So I got eight. You like this game? I do like this game. Now that again, now that I know all the rules and, and what it actually is, it helps tremendously with putting speed. And it turns it into a game. You know, I want to score more points. So I need to be able to predict what's going to happen reading it wise. Yep. So that I know where to aim. Right. So that would be a skill, right? Reading greens. Then obviously start a whole discussion on aim, but let's just say me being able to point it where I want to point it. Well, actually just start it on my intended line. That would be a skill. Mm -hmm. So like a ruler, can I put a ball down a ruler? Yeah. Without it falling off the side? Or oh. can I put a ball, uh, uh, like a push, like a ball mark, just a couple feet out in front of my putter? Can I get my ball to start over it or whatever? Right. Right? Ruler's probably better, it's harder. That sounds really hard. Um, and then control and speed, <laughs> right? Yeah. Which is, this is a really good drill for that. Yeah. When you get down to it, it's like those would be the, if you went to the putting green, you're gonna putt instead of just like slapping putts. It's like, no, I'm gonna hit my three skills. Right. I'm gonna go practice reading putts. I'm gonna walk out here and use what we did yesterday a little bit. Mm -hmm. Go uh, kind of visualize it and maybe go put something down, a tee or whatever, where I think it's gonna break, start at that. You know? Yeah. Predict it and see how you did and kind of grade yourself after. Right. Learn from it, move on. Then starting a ball straight, which is kind of hitting down the middle, right? So that gate drill, that ruler, mm -hmm. and then a speed drill. Every second I've spent on a putting green up until this point has been a waste of time. Just not even, just I don't do anything. Yeah, just kind of three balls. I don't think anybody does. To that. No, no. Other than like you go to PGA Tour event, guys are obviously doing things like this. Yeah. But when I'm, I'm just killing time before our tee time. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I'm trying to get a feel for the greens. It's like, now I'm lying to you about what I'm doing right here. <laughs> I'm just like hitting this ball around. Say it back to me. Read. Let's drill, drill on. Read. Okay. Start line. Ruler. Speed. Leapfrog. Leapfrog. Right. Yeah. Good. We're just uh, we're soaking up some rays. We're getting ready to go out on the boat with JT. Uh, my skin hasn't seen sun in about 24 months. Uh, we're gonna probably get in the water, jump off some sort of rock, and try not to get totally and completely fried. But I probably will. I think that's him. We're like, which person is it? Who's it gonna be? Which boat is it? This guy's bumping Darius Rucker. It's probably gonna be JT. At least I hope it is. I might just move in with JT. Like, we're getting along so well, we're vibing so well, that if I just move down here, I'd become awesome at golf, and I'd have a new best friend. That bird. Oh, this has got a recipe for disaster here. <laughs> What's up, boys? This thing is sweet. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try my hardest. I'm gonna throw a life jacket on. And I'm gonna try to do that. Do we think I can do it? Probably not. Let's get you fitted here, big dog. I need a life jacket. Let's see how we got badly. How's that look? Buoyant. How's that look? How's that look? How's that look? How's that look? I'm gonna burst out of it. I'm gonna burst right out of it. 
<laughs> That's that Midwest frame, you know? <laughs> so when we get I feel like J-Lo in an award show. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So <laughs> when we get you ready, when we pull you up, you just pull yourself the other side of the weight. Okay. And you, you keep on there. Don't wrap the rope around your hand. Like you, when you get slack in and you're pulling it out, just put it in your hand. Don't wrap it all around. It. Okay. Like, you know, if you get back on the wrong side of the weight, you have to pull yourself up. Okay. When you pull the slack up, just hold it in your hand. Hold the lead. Don't wrap it all around. Okay. Okay. I think he's going to be fine. I don't, he's not, I don't think he's going to get up. We're going to make him try. He'll be fine. If he goes belly to knees, he's going to be fine. Looks <laughs> like that. It does. It works. Woo! Is it gone? Just fully in the water. <laughs> what, how does this look? It looks like you're sinking the board. That's what it looks like. <laughs> All right. You're just going to hit the gas on that yeah. thing or what? Yeah. Cool. Ready? <laughs> One of the harder things you've ever done. So hard. Okay. Same idea. Try not to let the thing off. <laughs> you don't want one hand on the board and one hand off the board holding the rope. So I want two hands keep, on the rope. Just keep the rope on, or keep the rope on the board with my hand. all the water I got in my belly right now. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a lot of work. It's a lot of work being not in the way. That's what that's what I'm picking up. Yeah. You gotta get out of it. Yeah. We kept getting you too far back and then way over there. It's an experience. It was. I enjoyed myself. Take a little bit of Lake of Tony home with you. Right. I'm happy with that. <laughs> you ready to jump off a rock next? Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so now we're parting ways. It's been a great weekend. It's been sad. I am a little sad. Yeah. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but um, two days of hard work. Mm -hmm. um, first day was a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> and then today was a little bit more relaxed. We went out on the lake, which was fantastic. Was Your fun. boat is awesome. Um, I mean, this isn't gonna be the last. I would be surprised if this is the last time that I'm here. No. Yeah. I'll have to get you back down. If you'll allow me to come back down, I'll come back. You're always welcome, my man. We'll probably see each other at some of the majors. Yep, we'll see you in PGA. Uh, PGA in a couple weeks. How do you feel about me heading out of here? Like, how do you feel about my game? I feel way better. Me too. I do. Yeah. I feel better for down the road, right, too. Like, knowing what to work on. Right. I just can't see you doing anything but keep it on getting a little better, you know? Right. I'm far better at right now than I was when I first got here. I agree. This place is beautiful. Shout out to Cuscawilla. How do you pronounce the lake? Oconee. Oconee. I knew I was going to screw that up, so I was just going to let him do it. Um, all right. Until next time. Until next time. This is all the game, my friend. My man. Thank you for yes, everything. Sir, it was so fun. Awesome. Um, the first attempt at breaking 100 since we were with John Tillery. Holy. Uh, Frankie, I think it might be done today. Shit, dude.